Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Emma Rowena and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about making choices. And I'm not talking about little choices between which, which chocolate should you eat or should you eat or not. That's part of it. I'm talking about the big choices, the choices that can change your life. And today is the 21st of December 2020. It's a day that the astrologers have been waiting for and talking about for quite some time now. It's a very, very exciting day. It's the shift, guys. We're moving from the Earth energy that's been ruling our world for 200 years into the age of Aquarius, the air energy that will lift everything, move everything forward more quickly, uplift us, make us give us the opportunity to make these real changes, to see the changes, to see the shift. And they say that within 20 years, almost every aspect of the way we rule and live our world will have changed. So it's a very exciting time and for the better. Um, so you better keep watching, keep your eye on what's going on around you because it's really, really interesting. But this also means that we can ride that wave so we can make some changes ourselves, changes that we've been longing for and hoping to make or striving for. And I'll explain a little why then haven't happened. Not just because of the astrology, it has to do with ourselves, of course. But there is something that we can do that's very, very simple. We can make a choice. We can decide. But we, we can, there are many choices you can make that won't necessarily bring you to a life of peace, love and happiness, just like that. You have to, you have to dream, you have to vision, envision something. You have to find some sort of a wish or vision or image of something that you would like to achieve or a feeling of where you would like to be. What do you want to change in your life? Where are you uncomfortable? What are you complaining about? On a day-to-day -day basis, you're probably not even noticing, but think about it. Are you complaining about something? Is there something troubling you? Maybe it's your body, your health. Maybe it's a relationship, a spouse, your work, your home environment, the climate, anything. Just notice a little bit. And, and you can keep complaining, but it's not going to lift you out of that state of that place, you're going to keep repeating it because you're giving that stuff energy. You're focusing on it. It's so simple because what you focus, you re-energize. You keep it in your life. Now, some of us have dreams and visions. Some of us don't, or at least they don't know that they have them or they have, they don't have uh, a connection to them or an image of it, or they haven't dared to look at it, or dared to word it. You don't have to word it out loud yet. But I'm going to ask you now to see if somewhere in you, whether it's in the forefront of your head or, or way, way in the back of your mind or of your heart, see if you can just lure it, lure it out just for this moment. Imagine something you'd like. And if you can't think of anything, make it up. Make it just pretend, a fantasy, maybe, it doesn't matter how big it is. You can be wishing to be a superstar or millionaire, which is not uh, out of your league. It shouldn't be because some people manage. Why shouldn't you? But we've been programmed to think that, well, it's not for me sometimes, you know, and, and we have all these self-doubts. We've been told not to thr strive for, for too much. Uh, it's unfair for, for you to have more money when others don't. There are lots of, this is the money bit, but there are all kinds of excuses that we have, but they're usually governed by two entities, two energies. I call them Mr. Fear and Mr. Mind. And these two energies, they love each other. They nourish each other. The mind gives Mr. Fear lots and lots of energy to feed off and the fear gets Mr. Mind going and spinning and so they're in a, this circle of, of nourishing each other and carrying you along with them so you're, you're sort of you have no control in the end you're letting these these originally 
um, supporters because both the fear and the mind are tools for you. They're supposed to help you and support you in your life. If you have a real danger, the fear will make your body act in a way that it can run faster, for instance, if you meet a lion. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole neurology, um, physiology going on there. But uh, the point here is, and, and the mind is actually your soul's tool. Even Einstein acknowledged this. And, but it's become, Mr. Mind and Mr. Fear have become, they've taken the steering wheel of your life, usually, most of us, unless you manage to deal with it and found inner peace. Uh, but this is one of the things I'd like to t show you now, is that you can do that. You can take charge. And it doesn't have to be so hard. And I'm going to give you some images, because images are the language of your soul and your subconscious. And I use it all the time, as I mentioned before, in my readings and healings, because it's so powerful and it reaches way, way beyond your mind into the core of your essence so that your intuition and your soul and your subconscious starts moving in that direction, starts releasing the old stuff and learning to move towards the new. Uh, when, you, when the images shift, your soul picks up on it and starts moving in that direction. Now the image I'm going to give you, if you have this vision or this dream or this fantasy of yours, just put it out there somewhere. Imagine it in a, in a fantasy castle or in a beautiful field out there or, or somewhere in a light, in a bubble. It doesn't matter. It's a little bit away from you because you haven't reached it yet. Now if you, the more you focus on this, just notice the path towards this Notice first that it's there, then notice that the more attention you give to it, see how you can start opening up that path. See how the sun starts shining on it. It becomes golden. And there are hardly any shadows, and any shadows that are there, it's not overshadowing the sun, because the sun breaks through. There are some stumble blocks, but the sun shows you the way. And the more you focus on the vision or the dream, with your entire being, the more you will see every stepping stone on that path because it's illuminated by your energy moving there. Now that's, that's the dream, but you're not there yet, are you? You're here. You've got another path in front of you. That's the path that you already know. It's your old path. It goes into rather a gloomy forest maybe some old trees there, all your old stories, old programmings, old regulations, rules, can, cannot, have to, must, fears. Mr. Fear and Mr. Mind, they love this forest and they guide you through it because they know all the fears in there. They know how to maneuver through them. And so they keep you there and they keep holding you. And they're very proud of this role that they have. You've given them a very important role in your life. And they do what you've told them to because you've been taught to, because you've been shown, because our society shows this to us. And so you, uh, you've you actually given them the steering wheel of your, of your bus, if you like. And they do this very, very well. They're not doing anything wrong. And they're there, they're your companions, but they're, you're letting them stop you from clearing your path and seeing your dream and moving towards that. So I'd like you now, as you're standing here, you have to think and decide, do you want to continue along that old path with your fears, your inhibitions and your complaints about life, feeling a little uncomfortable almost all the time maybe? There are some bright spots, of course there are. There are some beautiful moments. But a lot of us feel that, you know, that these beautiful moments only last that long and you can't expect to be happy all the time, right? So you accept the shadows and the old trees that are overshadowing and hiding the, the sunlight from you. You can continue on that. It's fine. Um, you will continue feeling the way you are. And you probably won't reach that goal, at least not in the first, uh, it'll take a lot longer. But eventually you're going to have to, if you want to go there, you're going to have to move towards that direction anyway. So why don't you decide now? It's not hard. You just make the decision. You're ready. If you're watching this, you are ready. There's a reason you're watching this. You're ready to make a shift at some level in your life. 
and you're ready to commit. That's the second step. You choose, then you commit. Ula Swoko of Wise Women Energetics taught me this and it was so powerful to me. It's the reason I'm here now. And, or one of the reasons, but it's been a long process, but she really showed me this very, very clearly. You choose, you commit to the choice. You decide who you want to be, where you want to be, what you want your life to be. You envision it, you put it out there, and you decide to go that way. Now, Mr. Fear and Mr. Mind are going to go crazy. They're going to say, oh, no, 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 that's dangerous. We don't know what's out there. It looks very nice. It looks too good to be true. No, 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 this can't be true. We have to keep you safe. Well, you're deciding. It's your choice. So you can say, okay, thank you, guys. I understand what you're doing. You're trying to protect me. Thank you very much, but no thank you. I'm gonna go this way. I'm taking the steering wheel and you can follow me and you can learn the new way of protecting me. You can be ready for any real dangers in, in the instant. Maybe a lion crosses your path and your fear will take you. Maybe you need to figure something out and your mind will help you. You will be shown all the signs, don't worry. You will be shown. The more you keep a focus on where you want to go and you decide and you go there, the universe, nature, your life, yourself, your subconscious is going to give you the signs you need or the people who will bring you the information you need. Or, uh, trust me, it happens. I've experienced it. I'm experiencing it every day these days. It's beautiful because I've decided, I've committed to move forward in my path. So, you decide. Now, let's pretend that you do this. Let's just do it for the exercise. But this is up to you to do after you've seen this. You decided to go that path. You're going along and it looks beautiful, but you're a little bit nervous. That's Mr. Fear calling you, pulling at your neck. That's okay, but you've still decided you're not going to let him pull you back, are you? But then there are some sidetracks. Oh, and it's a little bit overwhelming. You start sort of, you feel the power of, of your mind, Mr. Mind and Mr. Fear talking to you and telling you that you're not really worthy of this. It's only for the privilege of this. And do you really think you can do that? What are you thinking? Um, and you start leering off onto the, one of the side paths that bring you back into the old path. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Because at some point, if you notice that you've gone back into the old, you've taken a grand step. It's a huge realization. It means you can, again, start looking for your vision and it will be there. You'll see it through the trees because you've decided to go there. You've put it out there. So you can see it now. It's illuminated for you. You start seeing it and then you start recognizing it. And you say, oh, Mr. Fear and Mr. Mind, you almost tricked me there. Thank you. You're going to have to listen to me. I'm going. This is my life. And I promise you that if you go with this, practice it, play with it, just follow it, enjoy it, enjoy the journey, explore what's out there, what's the universe bringing to you and your dream might change and even if it was a fantasy and you don't even believe it, don't worry because you've started opening up the gate of, of opening up to a vision, a dream that is uh, truly yours and it's only yours. You can dream of whatever you like. Anything that your heart desires, um, but keep it clean. And the moment you start f getting frustrated or, or clingy to it, or, or afraid or worrying, or, or whether it's going to happen, or trying to control the path, that's Mr. Fear and Mr. Mind coming back again. Just notice that any time, any tension that comes to you, or if you start feeling nervous, it's the old patterns. It's nothing dangerous. Just Keep a little eye on yourself. Be vigilant, be observant. And you will very slowly in the beginning, but the more you persist, the more you commit to this, the quicker the movement towards your goal will start moving. And I promise you, it will be a beautiful journey. This was my invitation to you to follow the wave of the energy of this world that's moving into this light air of Aquarius energy. And, and follow your heart and decide for yourself. It's a beautiful act of love for yourself. 
for your life. And then it becomes an act of love for everybody that you care for because they will see your new light and they will benefit from this love that you exude in yourself once you make that decision to commit to your dream and your vision. That was it, guys. Have a beautiful winter solstice, eclipse, shift, follow the wave. And I'll see you next time. Many blessings and lots of love to you. Take care.